Hello now. I'm Devon Young and my friends at my school think I should make videos because they think I'm the funniest person in the world. So, here's what I want to talk about. Number one. Ugly girls going out with boys who aren't ugly. Now, this may seem a little, seem a little homo, but to me, it's not. First of all, if you are an ugly girl, do not try to hit on boys who look way better than you, first of all. Second of all, if you try to hit on me and you're an ugly girl, you better stop because, one, you are ugly. Mugs. Number three... You are disgusting. And I don't care if your personality is on top notch because you are still ugly to me. Okay, let me stop. Let me talk about the cute girls. Alright, the cute girls in my school. Aliaska, Zasha, Eliza, Amber, all of them. Wonderful. Now, I'm not going to put them on the spot about how good they look because I don't even know if they're comfortable with it. Com comfortable with it. But, let me tell you a little something about the sexy girls in my school. They be shining and glistening. They be shiny and clean. And they be smelling bomb. Like some good fried chicken in the night. Because I know when my grandmother or I are cooking chicken, it be smelling yummy. Alright? Don't get it popping when it comes around to my fried chicken, all right? All right. My third topic is about how the teachers at my school are not, I mean, not the best. The only best teacher at my school is Mr. Grosso, a.k.a. Mr. Groger, a.k.a. Mr. Marky Mark, a.k.a. AKA Mr. Mark Wahlberg, a.k.a. Mr. Goger, a.k.a. Mr. Go Goger yogurt for kids. Now, the reason why he is the best teacher is because he lets people text in his class, unlike the other heathens teachers in the school. Number two, he's the best because we get to eat whatever he wants or whatever we want because the other teachers in the school don't give a damn. They say, oh, put your food away. Oh, put your phone away. Like, excuse me? Don't tell me what to do because number one, did you buy my food? Number two, did you buy my phone? Number three, did you pay my bill? No, you did not. So number one, my phone's gonna stay in my pocket. Number two, my food is staying in my throat and in my stomach. All right, all right. Now, the stupid bad teachers. Mm, what am I gonna do about them? What I mean, when are we all? gonna do about them. Here's what we're gonna do about them. Number one, number number one, we are gonna tell them all to shut up. Shut up. That's number one. That's what we're gonna do. We're all gonna tell them to shut up because who wants to sit in class and listen to teachers talk, 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 talk about stuff that we already learned and stuff that we don't really care about. All the students want to do is just go out, have fun, eat Burger King, probably some lasagna or fried chicken or whatever you please. Call it greens, corn, bread with some hot sauce and some Kool-Aid. Please. Not no barn cafeteria food that they think is healthy for us. Excuse me? That is fake processed food that you're putting in people's stomachs. People have to swallow. No. I ain't swallowing no fake ass food that y'all want to feed us. Excuse us. No. Number two, they need to go get a life telling us to do this homework, telling us to do 38, 77 pages of homework reading in our book. Excuse me, we got lives outside of school. Not, we ain't no Albert Einstein. We ain't Albert Einstein. Please. Albert Einstein can go chuck on something. He can go chuck on some wood if he wants to. He can go learn a goddamn science. He can go learn a sentence complainer or non complainer because me personally, I ain't learning nothing that's complainer or non complainer because I don't give a damn about it. Number two, if a teacher disrespect me, 
if they got the nerve to say something rude to me, I'm going to say something rude back. Because number one, you don't know where I come from. Number two, you don't know me. You don't know if I might hurt you in this bitch. You don't know if I might punch you in this bitch because you don't know me. <laughs> number three, if you get rude to me, I'm going to get rude back. And if you try to get up on my level... Then that's a sad mistake that you done made because you teachers that think you can outrage and outraise and out talk these students in my school, please, you got another thing coming because you cannot do it. You cannot do it. I'm telling you right now, just put a stop to it. The last thing I want to talk about are people who think they're the shit. Oh my god. God, there are people who think they're 100. I'm not using that word fake or ratchet because that's not who I am. I'm going to keep it real. People who think they're the shit ain't this shit, first of all. If you think you're the shit, you should have your own toilet tissue since you think you're the shit. All right? Because if you make your own toilet tissue, I ain't wiping my black ass with it. You're going to wipe your own ass with your toilet tissue if you think you're the shit. Second of all, if you think you're the shit, then that means you think you're Obama, because Obama is the shit, alright? Because one, he ain't take away my card with my cash on it, please. Mitt Romney, no. He ain't the shit. He thinks he's the shit, but he ain't the shit. And he's not coming to my house, taking my toilet paper, or wiping his own shit with my toilet paper. No, he ain't. Alright, now... I am done for the night because my feet are cold. I want to go get me a bag of chips from the corner store. Bless me as I go there. And I'll come back to you all maybe later tonight if I feel like it. If I feel like talking to the people out in the world. All right. Bye.